I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. Siamese Mahjong is getting more and more popular every day. There are even tournaments and special events where organizers will pre-select categories for prizes. So I like to practice forcing hands to win a prize. We're going to pre-select six categories and play hands in just these categories. That way when we attend one of those events, maybe we'll come home a winner. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between player one and player two. So we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28. And we'll force hands in these categories each time. We have one, four, five, six, seven, nine in cracks with a pair of sevens. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in bam, singles. In dots, we have one, two, four, five, six, eight, pair five. We have an east and a west, and then a red dragon and a pair of flowers. We also have a couple of jokers. If these were your tiles, which of these categories would you force? And what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I think I would try for a pair hand. We have a lot of odds. And then the other hand, I think I would try for a two, four, six, eight hand. Maybe the, maybe the concealed hand. Let's see how this looks. Look at that. One away from ready. We need an eight bam or an eight dot, and that would be ready to win. Two, four, six, eight concealed using the jokers. And then one, three, five, seven, nine pair hand with fives. But I would keep these just in case. One, three, five, seven, nine is a category on the card. So if the pair hand doesn't come in, we could go for the one, three, five, seven, nine category. So that's how I would do it. Pair hand and evens. Pair hand and evens. This would be exciting to play out. Oh my gosh, that is really close. Have you ever gotten a hand from heaven? Winning a hand just from your dealt tiles? It's possible with a four player game and it's possible with Siamese Mahjong. It's never happened to me. This got really close. It's kind of exciting. If you would have forced a different category with these tiles, let me know in the comment section below with force one.
we have one, two, three, four, five, six, nine in cracks, all singles. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in dots, seven dot pair. Five, six, seven, nine in bams, six bam pair. We almost have news, no west, but we have a pair of east. We have a white dragon and a red dragon and a flower, no jokers. Which of these categories would you force with these tiles and what would be your first discards? If these were my tiles, I would play consecutive run and wins in dragons. Yikes. <laughs> I was thinking five, six, seven with sixes in the middle and then wins and dragons. But look at all these discards. I try to have eight discards or less. This is out of control. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. So I think what I would do, I would stick with that idea. But maybe instead of consecutive run, we do three, six, nine. So let's just hold these to the side and pull the 369. Still do Winds and Dragons. It's weak, but we can gather. 369. Three, six, we could even do 36 Dragon 69. I wouldn't commit to that, but there's a lot more 369 than consecutive run. So maybe a 369 hand, use these for joker bait and discard these. It's still a bit long in these discards. News. Maybe what we could do here is use the sevens and the eight or maybe even the five instead of the eight for east and west or north and south with a run in the wind and dragon category as an option. That would leave us with eight discards. So we may or may not use this. Maybe we could put it down here for a mixed suit hand with flowers. I think this is how I would do it. So three, six, nine and winds and dragons. Here's the six. Single pair pung, single pair pung, one way or the other, with either north and south or east and west. I mean, it'll take work, obviously. We'd have to force it. And then here we could do three, six, dragon, six, nine. Three, six, dragon, six, nine. It's an option. Or we could do three, six, nine, mix suit Kongs. Mix suit, the sixes, the sixes would be a Pung. Kong three, Pung six, Kong, Kong nine, flowers. So there's a couple ways to do that and start there. I think that's possible. We have a lot of work to do. It's doable though, oops. There, Winds and Dragons 369. If you would have done something differently, write Force 2 in the comment section below and tell me what categories you would force with these tiles. We have two, three, six, seven, two, three, five, six, seven singles in cracks, in dots, one, two, five, seven, eight, nine, pair two, pair
pair nine in BAMs. One, two, four, six, seven, eight. Pair four. We have all the dragons with a pair of whites. We have north and south singles and a couple of jokers. We need to force consecutive run and odds. Two, four, six, eight, which we do have a lot of two, four, six, eight. Let's just separate what we really need in here are odds, not evens. But maybe what we could do is gather consecutive run and then see what remains for odds. I think the consecutive run is going to have to be 2, 3, 4 because we have a lot of 2, 4, 6, 8. We could do 2, 3, 4 or, two, three, four, or maybe 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 4, 5 or 4, 5, 6, 7. 2, 3, 4, 5. That uses odds both. All right, well, let's set this up. I think this is how I would do it. Five, seven, nine dragon for odds. And then we could do one, two, one, two dragon. Or we could do maybe one, two, three with twos in the middle if we get a one crack or maybe if threes come in. This would take a lot of work, of course. And then here we have joker bait and then two, two, many discards. I like to get to eight, so we have a little more work to do here. I was thinking, well, what could we do as an option to try to hold back some tiles for options? Maybe what we could do is hold the odds, big odds, as an option. And that would take us down to seven discards, joker bait options with five, seven, nine. The challenge is we have white dragons, a pair that I would want to use. That's why I was drawn to that. And down here, our pair is in the two. We have no flowers, no three. I was thinking we could do one, two, three dragon, but we have no flowers, even though we have jokers. But I think this is doable. Discard those, hold that for joker bait, five, seven, nine dragon, and one, two, three of some kind. So we have odds and consecutive run. That was very challenging. If you would do something differently here, write force three in the comment section below and let me know what you would do with these tiles. If you don't have an opportunity to attend a special event like a tournament and then try to win one of those prizes, I have another challenge for you. Every time you win a hand, mark the hand on your card with a dot of some kind, like a sticker or maybe a Sharpie. And then try to win every hand on the card throughout the year. Forcing hands is a way for you to win every hand on the card in a given year. It's a great way to challenge yourself. So I hope you give it a try. If you do, let me know. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.